Cheers, everyone. Well, I went to the meat market called Bonton and bought some spare ribs. They look nice, so I had to pick that up and try to remember. I was like, I don't think I've cooked ribs in a while. Maybe I'm wrong, but maybe my memory's fading. <laughs> but I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick that up and cook that. Season it with Hardcore Carnivores Red. It's a pretty good rub right there. And also bought some sausage that Bonton makes. It's a sausage that I really, really enjoy. So I bought that as well. So just in a kickback, you know, got the only fire charcoal basket with the B&B &B briquettes, the con wood chunks. I mean, the brew, you know, just here. It's uh, supposed to be raining here, but it's more humid. But I take that over it being hot like it's been. <laughs> so, hey, I'm just going to kick back and let the ribs go. And let's see if I wrap them. I don't. See how they look after an hour. Hey, let's get to cooking. The temps had reached up to 300. But I'm not going for that. I want to go for be around 250, 275. So, shut it down at the top. And then shut it down at the bottom so I want to keep it between 250 to 275 and it dropped down pretty good so I'm happy about that so it's in between right now or around 270 close to 275 so that's where we're getting at so if it stays at the number I'm good ah, I love this love this kettle love what I did to it just love it All right, let's check it out. Yeah, so this is after an hour. B&B, pecan, wood chunks. You see I laid it up on the corner right there, so it's slowly going to go to the other side. But yeah. So... I need to go back inside and get my spritz bottle because I do need to spritz it. But that's what it looks like. Yep, looking good. Let's uh, close it back up and then, you know, open up a little bit wider. But, yeah. I've been feeling some raindrops, so we'll see if it rains. Boo cooking in the rain I have a new beer to try it's the uh, barbecue pit boys Hellbach good beer I can't do it like they do it but if you know who they are they got some great content it's uh, well, it's famously malty and flavorful German style beer so it's a German style beer so before I take a drink of this go get your favorite beverage and let's drink one together and I'll wait so go right ahead all right I think I waited long enough so here it is It's malty. You smell it. But cheers. It's not bad. It does have a strong aftertaste. But of what? I can't pinpoint what what it is. But it does have that malty taste to it. So if you do like that uh, German style beer, you want to check out the Pit Boys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, let's check it out. Oh, yeah. It's getting a nice color. Look at that. Nice color. Zoom in, yeah, look at that. 
That is nice. <laughs> now if you want for the ones who feel that you're not going to get an even cook you know you can just flip the ribs for this side be towards closer to the heat source but I'm not I'm just going to let it roll like that and there's the charcoal so that side right there where I started it is burning down that wood chunk is going so we're almost at the halfway part of the basket. So yeah, but yeah, let's uh, close it up and yeah, let's continue on cooking. It's starting to rain. It's raining. No more like sprinkling. I mean, it's not like coming down, but maybe I should knock on wood on that. Maybe knock on some wood. <laughs> but yeah, it's starting to. So I'm not too worried right now. I'm gonna keep the hot rod kettle out here right now. But if it starts pouring, then I'm gonna bring it closer to the garage. All right, let's check it. Oh man, it's looking good. Looking good. Got to put the brew down. Oh man, it's getting a nice color to it. The bark's pretty much set on it. No pullback on the bone, but that's all good. I'm going to spritz it. Yeah, it's, it's looking good though. We got the wood chunks. You still got this one. You bring it more that way. So you still got some, some briquette still good right there. So now it's towards the middle right here. And it's going to light up eventually. This is after three hours. But they look beautiful getting a nice color to it the nice mahogany color that you want right there that's nice that is nice but I'm gonna let it roll I'm gonna let it roll for about 30 minutes and then I'll bring you back and if you're curious to see what the actual temp of the meat is and I'll temp it but let's close it up and let's continue on It's been that 30 minutes, like I said. So if you are curious on where the temp of the ribs are at, let's give it a check. We got 162, 163. That's right there. Let's get out of the way. Let's get up more over here. Yeah, let's let me check more right here. Yeah, so we still got some more to go. At this point, you could always wrap it. I do have some pullback right here. Get closer. You can see there's some pullback right there on those bone right there. But you got it right there. So at this point, you got pullback, you can wrap it if you want. That's if you want. I'm going to go for that 30 minutes and then I'll decide from there. Catching on right there. I'm going to do that, so another 30 minutes. This has been a fun cook, but we're getting towards the end. This is four hours. So we're almost done. And look at that beautiful color. That's what you want right there. 
our briquettes. Yeah. We still going, we still going. Get a better view. Yeah. And look at that. That is beautiful. But I'm gonna go for a little bit more. So yeah. Alright, I think it's time I just kick my shoes off. Time to get relaxed. There's the kiddo, there's hot rod. It's starting to get dark now. Yeah, look at that. So I'm just relaxing. Got the brew going. Got the start playing in the background. It's been a good day so far. I'm almost done with this cook. I'm almost done, I'm getting there. But I gotta relax the feet, man. Walk too much, so there it is. Oh yeah, hot rod. Yeah, it's gotten dark. But let's get some light. There we go. I put some sausages on, so I wanna check out the sausage. <coughs> All right, not quite done. We're getting there. But that's ribs are almost done, so I'm about to take them off in a few minutes. That's the what it looks like on the charcoal briquettes B and B. Yeah. Sausage. Look at that. Some good sausage right there. But look at that. Oh man. I'm, I'm gonna say this already. I am not going to apply any sauces. I wanted to use some Texas pepper jelly, rib candy, but the way it looks, just look at it. I can't mess up the way that color looks. Let's just taste the meat and the smoke, right? So that's beautiful right there. So I'm going to leave that the way it is like that and let it rest once I take it off. But, yeah, maybe move these a little bit closer. Like that. But yeah, so let me close it back up and then take those rib off and then uh, finish it up. So, what do you think? The Weber kettle on hot rod. B and B briquettes. Only fire charcoal basket. The temp was going from 250 to 275 and it would stay around those numbers. Weber kettle, man, you just can't beat that. Just look at this. Beautiful. Like I mentioned before, I didn't want to put anything, no sauces, no Texas pepper jelly. I just love the way it came out. Just a pecan smoked. It smells so good right now. So, let's flip it on the other side. Look at that even. The bottom looks beautiful. That is perfect. So, let's dice right into it. This is awesome. This is nice. So, let me uh, take a bite of it. I am happy about this cook. It came out great. Total of five hours. But you know what? If you wanted to cut down that time, you could just wrap it. But I was letting the kettle go. Just let it go. I have plenty of time today, so that's how it is on my channel. Let's just chill, relax, listen to music. Get your brew or your favorite beverage, and let's just chill. Let, if you can tell, let the Weber kettle do its thing. Just let it cook. Just let it cook, and oh, you can smell the pecan. You can smell the rub from the hardcore carnivore red. Not dry at all. But hey, what does it taste like? So let's find out. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, bite through. Look at that. Bite through. Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I gotta devour this right in front of you. I gotta devour it. Oh my. Ain't nothing left. Ain't nothing left. <laughs> oh, that was delicious. Oh my. Oh my. I'm ready to wrap this up. So I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna tear up all that whole rack, but at least half of it in that sausage. Oh man, that was awesome. So, if you got a Weber, get the Weber out. And just cook at the temp that you want. Just remember, you're gonna go low, it's gonna take a little bit more time. If you go high, close 300 or 300, that's gonna go quick. So that's when you gotta watch your meat because you don't wanna overdo it. But when you do, just sit back, relax, just have a good time. Spritz, bring in a spritz. If your meat gets dry, spritz it. But the whole point is just have a good time. That's it. Enjoy what you do, just enjoy it. Because this goes good with music and with barbecue. So, as always, thank you so much. Bye. Thank you for watching. Smoke on, everyone. Ah, oh, man. It's been a good day.